Hi, it's Ben from Pulse Notes, and today we'll be looking at Erythema multiforme. So Erythema multiforme is an immune-mediated reaction causing classical target skin lesions. It most commonly occurs in young adults, 20 to 40 years old. It's a type of hypersensitivity reaction that essentially refers to an exaggerated immune response to an antigen. It forms many classic target lesions that are usually less than three centimeters, and these occur in either the cutaneous or the mucosal surfaces. So erythema multiforme is a cell-mediated hypersensitivity reaction, most commonly due to infection or drugs. And we call it a type four reaction because it's delayed and it's T cell mediated. So thinking about the causes of erythema multiforme, around 90% are infections such as viruses like herpes simplex virus or bacteria such as mycoplasma. It may be due to drugs such as NSAIDs or non steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, penicillins or sulfonamides. Or it may be due to other causes such as malignancy, sarcoidosis or even immunizations. So erythema multiforme causes characteristic target lesions on the skin with or without mucosal changes and systemic features. And when we refer to these systemic features, we mean things such as fever, arthralgia, malaise or myalgia. So thinking about there's two subtypes of erythema multiforme, there's minor, which is no or minor mucosal involvement and no systemic features. So in this situation, patients just have the classic cutaneous target lesions. In erythema multiforme major, there's severe mucosal involvement, so thinking about the oral mucosa or the ocular mucosa, and there's often systemic features, as we said, things such as fever, arthralgia, myalgia. So the classic target lesions that we see in erythema multiforme have three key components. There's a central blister or dusky red area. There's a surrounding pale ring of edema. And then there's an erythematous halo in the periphery. So it's got these three typical features. And we can see two classic examples of erythema multiforme on the left-hand side. So erythema multiforme is usually a clinical diagnosis based on characteristic lesions, but a skin biopsy can be helpful. So if we see these typical target lesions, we think about, does it have a classic appearance? If so, we then want to determine what is the cause of erythema multiforme. Is it a herpes simplex infection? Is it a new drug being started? And then we request investigations based on what we think the cause could be. If these are very atypical and don't have the classic appearance, then we may want to consider a skin biopsy before making the diagnosis. So erythema multiforme is usually a transient skin disorder. So it develops over three to five days and then usually resolves within two weeks. Mild cases can usually be managed in an outpatient because most will resolve, and it's important to identify and treat the underlying cause. For example, if it was caused by herpes simplex virus, providing antiviral medications. In severe cases, patients may have a compromised swallowing or vision due to severe mucosal involvement, and rarely recurrent or persistent cases can occur. So thanks for learning with Pulse Notes and make sure you check out more great content at the app.pulsenotes website.